guys. It's time for the ocean. Time for the ocean zones notes, everybody. So let's get ready. The essential questions are number one, to understand how scientists separate the oceans into zones based on light, temperature, life, and nutrients. And number two, identify technology that is used to explore the various zones of the oceans. Okay, the sunlight zone. In the sunlight zone is the area on the sea and the ocean where the light penetrates and it's about 200 meters deep in the ocean. In this area where the light penetrates allows, allows the photosynthesis to occur and the temperature range is about 104 Fahrenheit to 27 degree Fahrenheit. Sunlight zone continues. Animal life are primary producers like plankton, floating out of the organisms, plant sea grasses, and fishes. Features more than 90% of all marine life live in this light zone. Organisms that live at this shoreline will face harshest conditions than those organisms that live deeper in the ocean. Okay, we use technology to explore. The ocean, as you can see, it, we use scuba diving that allows us up to 40 meters. So, as the slide before said, the at the shoreline here, this is, organisms have to be able to survive lots of different types of conditions, because at high tide, these organisms are going to be covered in water. At low tide, as the water recedes, they'll be completely uncovered and they'll be susceptible to sunlight, to organisms like birds and things that may eat them. So the intertidal zone has to be able to uh, sustain lots of different conditions. The next zone down is the twilight zone. So it's directly below the sunlight zone and the twilight zone extends from 200 meters to about 1,000 meters. Temperature and light, only a small amount of light, so it's sort of like when the sun is setting and the sun's sort of behind the trees, it's still a little bit light out in the evening time, but it's not really light, that's twilight. Temperature ranges from about 41 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Animal life in the twilight zone. It consists of lanternfish, rat talkfish, squid, and midwater jellyfish, so these are some of the examples of those. And the features you'll find in the twilight zone the thermocline is within the zone. Thermocline. The thermocline is when the ocean water temperature decreases very quickly with depth. So as you go down, that temperature goes down a lot. And bioluminescent organisms are located in the zone, and the pressure is very high because there's a lot of water on top of you. Technology used. Manned submarines can be used and allow scientists to see firsthand the organisms and features at that depth. And we also use sonar in order to measure the depth and sort of map the ocean floor in that location. Okay, the midnight zone. As you can see, it, this zone extends to, to 1,000 to 4,000 meters deep in the sea, in the ocean. There is no temperature, there is no light in this zone, and the temperature ranges from 43 to 32 degree Fahrenheit. Animals that live in this zone. Mostly they are sperm whales. Most animals that live at this depth are black and red and due to the lack of light. Features, bioluminescent organisms are located in this zone. The pressure of this zone is up to 2,000 pounds per square inch. The technology that we use to explore this zone, it is basically remote, remotely operated vehicles because we cannot go to explore the ocean at this depth. Those, this technology allows scientists to study as many different cameras can be used at the same time. The abyssal zone. 
is the light zone of the ocean that extends from 2,000 meters to 6,000 meters down. This is most of the rest of the ocean. Temperature and light, there's perpetual darkness, and it's always really, really cold there, between 39 and 33 degrees Fahrenheit, so almost freezing. Uh, here we have the link to the video that you just saw, so if you want to go take a look at that, you can. <coughs> That's the wrong direction. Abyssal zone, animal life. Food is scarce, so many of the organisms that live there have large gaps to just ingest whatever's possible, whatever's around them. There are tripod fish and black swallower fish. And features, there are hydrothermal vents, which is what you see here in this picture, with worm-like things that live in them. And you'll find out more about that in class. Technology used to explore the abyssal zone, mostly it's ro ROVs, remotely operated vehicles, and sonar. Humans can explore here, but it's very dangerous because it takes a long time to get down to the, to the abyss, and there is some great pressure and chance of uh, the submersible breaking. Okay, it turns sounds. This is the deepest, darkest part in the ocean, and it extends up to 6,000 meters. Temperature and light, at just about freezing temperature, there is absolutely no light at this zone. Okay, animal that lives in this zone, as you can see, starfish, tubeworms, and anglerfish, and anglerfish may live in there. The pressure in this zone is very high, as much as 48 to 7400. 747 airport. Oh. There are also hydrothermal vents and cold seeps at this location. The technology that we use to explore the trench zone, actually it is very dangerous to go, for the scientists to go down to this depth of the oceans. So mostly we use information from the sonar and sound. So what you see here is a general uh, diagram showing you that here, this very small portion is the sunlight zone, a little bit larger is the twilight zone, the midnight zone is dark, as you can see, it goes here, the abyssal zone, and then the trench zone goes much, 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 much deeper. This is something to keep in mind. Take a look at the organisms starting up here at the sunlight zone and going all the way down. Just note the number of organisms and the diversity of organisms going from the open sea out of the surface all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. You can see there's a lot more here than there is here. So back to our essential questions. Understand how scientists separate the oceans into zones based on light, temperature, life, and nutrients and identify technology that is used to explore the various zones of the oceans. If you have questions, be sure to write them down, bring them to class so you can ask them 